So this is going to be a, uh, the builds I've been doing for the past uh, couple of months. It's a server uh, built from scratch and it's a custom server. As you can tell, it's not uh, your regular server case. Um, so let's get started. I already did some of the prep work, so it, I can try to make this under 15 minutes. It'll still be a chore because it takes quite a while to prep this sucker. Let the drill fest begin. It's just your regular super micro motherboard. Quad core Xeon CPU. So secure the board in. I gotta get the three side cards. Dual channel. Slide those bad boys in. because it's all custom. Nothing fits proper. Time to add the other stuff in. Now I've pre-prepped this. 20 SATA adapters. And this is going to be for the 20 Blu-ray drives that are going to be, Blu-ray burners that are going to be uh, added to here. So let me just screw this sucker in. Three underneath. Okay. Up the cables. Now these are all numerical, they're all numbered, the client wants them in the exact sequence as the motherboard will read the cards. I've been doing a lot of these so I know them all by heart now. It's not a hard server build, it's just it's a long server build because of all the screws I have to screw together. And and there's a bit of cable management involved.
some of the fans for the back. Server has uh, seven fans total. All acting as exhaust fans. Cable got stuck in there. Wow, I'm having a hard time with this one. to do this for under 15 minutes. I don't think it's going to happen. I get my fat head in the, in the way. Okay. All of this has to have The fans attached to the motherboard. So, this time, oh, this fan is broke. Great. Let me repair that real quick feed all the uh, power to the optical drives, those Blu-ray burners. So they just attach to the SAS to SATA adapters. One more. Now that's done. Flip it. I'll attach the maze. Now these servers are controlled by a custom LCD display. Uh, just push button, see what it is, what's displayed, and, and it does its thing. Uh, it's attached by just a regular USB cable. Um, I need 
four plastic standoffs. It just sits in here. As you can see, I have all my all my different types of nuts and bolts and screws to make the build simpler and faster. Now, check the size of these little bad boys I have to put in. After quite a few of them building, I got used to the size of manipulating such a small object. Tighten them in. Just to cover the holes. More small nuts to put in. And I just drop one. Tighten those as well. Now, attach the power button. Cables to the motherboard. Now for the USB for the LCD. This motherboard has a nice little uh, USB interface right on the board. So it used to have, it used to be just a those individual pins. Now there's an actual connector down there, so it makes it great. After that, um, slide the drives in. Now they're all mounted onto a metal plate and they're all slot loads. Now I'm just going to add these in and then I'll show you afterwards. The extra four um, four fans put in the redundant power supply. Close it up. I'm done. Thanks for watching.